See, I just gather some walnuts. I get them like this, hit them with the foot one time, and there it is. But remember, before you grab them, put some gloves on your hands, because if not, your hands will be colorful. See how they color on there? That's that walnut oil. So get you some green ones like this, right? See them old school J's? Get some green ones, put the heel to them, like that. And then you get to the walnut. You don't want to ride them on a car, that's too heavy to crush them. But get them like that. See the walnuts in there? Yeah, then after you get them like that, build your little cage like I did. And set them in there. That's so the squirrels can't get to them. And then you too can have some walnuts. Very nice. You see, I just took it out of this bag. This is my trick-or-treat bag. Not for candy, but for food. My trick-or-treat bag today on a Saturday. Not for candy, but for food. And look, I got them pears, a couple pears I forgot I grabbed from the old park. These pears right here, the fruit, it's good for the body. We'll take them pears in the house and rinse them off. But I got a a plum tree it's on the next street over there but get you some walnuts and you can have the kids help you too but start getting that husk off of them you know what i mean get that husk off of them and then get them in the cage get them in the cage get them walnuts down there in that cage so them squirrels can't get to them and you too can get your protein in